Hi Taurus, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your week, sorry, your daily reading. This is your daily reading. I'll use uh, Tarot of the Doors. No, I won't. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the other deck. One second. Sorry about that. I'm going to I'm gonna use Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann Donnelly. This is for Tarot, uh, for Tarot, <laughs> for Taurus, for April 4th, please. All right, we've got Seven of Swords and Knight of Cups. Uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somebody who's sneaking or stealing information or snooping on you on social media or something along those lines. Waiting, Seven of Pentacles, they've been investing time and energy into this. All right, back into the reading. This is for Taurus, for April 4th, daily reading. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for April 4th. What does Taurus need to know? I'm going to pull four cards. <clears throat> First card is you second card is what's around you third card is a challenge or obstacle and then the last card is the outcome all right this is for taurus there's four of swords needing to take a break rest eight of swords being worried or um stressed out burdened in your mind because of all the noise that people are making right now it's toxic time all right this is for Taurus for April 4th, 2021, daily reading. Let me cut the deck. <clears throat> so Taurus, first card is you. We've got three of cups, lovely. What's around you? Five of pentacles. Your challenge or obstacle is the king of pentacles, which is Taurus energy. And then the outcome is the empress. Wow. All right, on the bottom of the deck, we've got the wheel. So the wheel is saying the underlying energy for the fourth is that there's going to be some kind of big change, new cycle, things changing, um, or you going through some kind of change here, okay, for whatever it is. You have the energy of three of cups. So this is very social and happy and um, celebratory. It looks like, you know, whether you're getting along with your family, friends, um, having small gatherings, whatever it may be, um, having some kind of get together or even somebody from your past. Okay. It could be a reunion and, and dating as well with someone from your past. And so when we look at it that way, I see that around you, they've got the energy of five of pentacles. The five of pentacles energy is not a very committed energy. A lot of people have been getting these readings where you're looking for like fun and companionship in the moment, but it's not like you think they're Mr. or Mrs. Right. So five of pentacles is that kind of energy of lack, whether it be signifying that there's poor health or lack of finance or lack of faith in spirituality or lack of trust in relationships and love. Um, this is what comes up when you're just having fun. Uh, these two together tell me it's dating. It's nothing serious. Um, don't, you know, open up too much where you think that's going to be love at first sight or something. It, it's something where you're having fun. It's kind of mutually beneficial. Okay. Um, and it doesn't look like you have a serious energy anyways. Uh, as a challenger obstacle, there's the king of pentacles and that could be yourself. King of Pentacles, if it's not you, if it's a person you're dealing with, however way you want to see it, it's that it's about that kind of Midas energy. I always talk about that with King of Pentacles, even though that's you, Taurus, and they can be extremely loving, generous, kind, benevolent, and all that. In love and romance, the King of Pentacles is not the King of Cups. It's not like they're going to give up everything for love. King of Pentacles is very practical. They are looking for someone who is going to fit in their kingdom. So in love and romance, if you're someone awesome, they can see the value in you or you can see the value in them. But that doesn't mean that you think that it would be a good fit in your life. And so you can kind of disassociate like that and, and just enjoy it for what it is without taking it seriously. Okay, Because there might be cultural, spiritual, religious, financial reasons or um, a lot of reasons why it might not be a good fit. But it's fun at the time. Okay. In the outcome, look, double Taurus, the Empress, ruled by Venus. For some of you, I'm getting a repeated theme of pregnancy, okay, and fertility. You got it in your April 5th to the 11th weekly reading that I just did before this one. So for some of you, 
whether it is that you are giving birth to some kind of new project, a new phase, a new cycle that's coming in, that's changing things around, or um, some kind of new success or abundance that com that's coming into your life, which is great. But for others, it could be that there's some hookup, okay, some casual hookup or friendship or dating or whatever that wasn't supposed to be serious as could manifest in this, okay? So let's see. I'm going to pull um this love oracle card from amira's love oracle let's get a card for taurus for april 4th for april 4th 2021 this is for taurus sun moon rising in venus for april 4th 2021 please this is for taurus for april 4th 2021 What does Taurus need to know for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Taurus need to know? All right. Triangle. Okay. On the bottom, twin flame. Oh, geez. Okay. <clears throat> so this is obvious. There is some playing around. And when I see three people here, and you see the three of cups, as I said, doesn't look like you're serious about this. It looks like you're dating and having fun. Could be a love triangle here if that's what it's stating, okay? But you might be shutting somebody out, okay? Making somebody, this also comes up when you're feeling left out in the cold. Could be a twin flame situation that you're neglecting. Let's read twin flame. It's quite short. This is quite exciting for some of you triangle let's read triangle first external influence interference indecision choices love trust infidelity more than one person in the relationship sharing your love interest with another person family or friends involved that create friction and confusion more than one lover that you are involved with that creates confusion or choices and then we've got twin flame let us see Ooh, this is big. Look at how much they wrote here. My and soulmate get those two have the most and passion would be the third most, I guess. Oh my. All right. The highest soul connection, potential of true bliss. It is said that a twin flame occurs when the soul is divided before being born into two different souls. This other soul is your twin flame. It is an effortless relationship. If you have pulled this card, there is a high chance this person you asked about is your twin flame and ideal match, or you will meet this person very soon. Ooh, that's exciting. If your twin flame is ready for you in this lifetime, then you can connect and create an amazing life together. If they are not ready or you are not ready, then you will either meet at a later time to resume in this life or the next. This connection is two halves that make a whole and oneness is achieved without any control, push, pull energy or toxic energy. Yikes. All right. Like things just got real serious. Okay. And <laughs> look, we got major arcana, major arcana, and it all started so innocently. It just started so frivolously and so mildly with the three of cups and the five of pentacles. And the challenger, the obstacle is the king of pentacles. And then the outcome is starting. You guys, it, it's showing a love triangle. It's, it's saying that you might not have taken this seriously. They don't look like they took it very seriously either. Let me just clarify, okay? I'm going to leave this high priestess a secret. Four of cups not recognizing your blessings. Let me clarify that five of pentacles. Can we please get a card to clarify the five of pentacles, please? Can we please get a card to clarify <clears throat> the five of pentacles? Can we please clarify the five of pentacles? Thank you so much. Can we please clarify the five of pentacles? Can we please clarify the five of pentacles? All right. I'm going to clarify with, yeah, knight of wands. Okay. That makes sense. On the bottom, four of pentacles. Okay. So let's talk about this first. And then I'll clarify the king of pentacles. The five of pentacles, as I said, it's easy come, easy go. Meeting people in nightclubs, restaurants, um, dating sites, whatever. It's not that serious. You have a lack of faith or lack of trust and love or whatever. It's a showing a lack. 
Knight of Wands is clarifying this. That makes sense. That's that lover card. That's the passionate, excitable, chasing your inspiration, chasing your, um, it's that inner wild child, okay, and following whatever that is. That's why that person that you're dealing with is just having fun. They're doing what feels good all the time. They, they are, like to live by the seat of their pants and be inspired all the time. And then there's a four of pentacles even under that where they hold themselves precious. They're closed off, shut off, not open, okay? And could be even like being greedy or thinking they're too good or whatever. So let's just leave those two, okay, here. Let's clarify the king of pentacles. Can we please clarify the, because that's the challenge or obstacle here. So let's please clarify the king of pentacles. And this was at the bottom of the deck. Can you please clarify the King of Pentacles for Taurus for April 4th? Oh, and Four of Pentacles is also that, as I said, being shut off, closed off, uh, holding yourself precious. And it can also be about being greedy, okay? Greedy and covetous or or. Greedy in the sense that like you could be in a relationship and you still have a roaming eye. I always say that. Okay, so that could be that triangle energy is them. Or it could be both of you. I don't know. Okay, but definitely that four of pentacles can be about that non-committal sneaky, like still keeping your options open. All right. Can we please clarify the king of pentacles? You guys should check out the weekly reading for the 5th to 11th. I was like, what is this? What is this about? Like somebody's getting the roof blown off of their house and there's all this pregnancy and all this stuff around and there's forgiveness and this and that. I didn't understand it, but you know, I got a gist of it. It was a lot. And even your daily reading for the 4th is a lot. Look at that. There you go. Three of Wands. That's clarifying the King of Pentacles, okay? Because on the bottom, the chariot, okay. Three of Wands is having sent out some inf some messages, some information, some things that you're interested in because Wands are fire, passion, inspiration. So there's ships coming in. There's responses. They're favorable. They're um, like for practical things, it's like, you know, full of material goods and stuff like that that you're going to think. If you're sending out resumes, it's like people responding and getting interviews. But if you're somebody as a challenge or obstacle with the king of pentacles energy in love and romance because this looks like a romantic reading it's like you could have other people that you've been speaking with talking with and um that you're interested in okay that are interested in you as well like it looks like this person has options so this is the challenge or obstacle and and king of pentacles is taurus energy okay so and so is the empress so it looks like here for whoever this is for, unless you really do want to have a child and get pregnant, please be careful. And also, um, it's saying a twin flame connection. Even if you didn't think this was going to be serious, give it a chance because you never know because that's saying it's a twin flame situation. Okay. You're, you're just like accidentally bumping into somebody. Well, karmically, that could be major in your life. Because you heard the description for Twin Flame. That was major. All right, that's your reading. My goodness, Taurus. That was major. All right, I will have your next day's reading out after. I'll have it out tomorrow, okay? Because I'm going to do dailies for you this month. Have a great day, Taurus. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. That was fun. Bye for now.